In this video, we're going to look at the basic structure of the periodic table of elements. There are around 100 atoms that make up everything on Earth, and the different types of atoms are called elements. Firstly, they are grouped into the metals and non-metals, and this is separated by the red zigzag line going down the table. The columns of the periodic table are called groups. Elements in the same group share similar properties. So this means they will have similar melting points and boiling points and will react in similar ways. You'll need to know the names of some of the major groups in the periodic table. Group 1 is called the alkali metals. Group 2 is called the alkali earth metals. Group 7 is called the halogens. Group 0 is called the noble gases and the central block of the periodic table is called the transition metals. The rows of the periodic table are called periods. Going across a period from left to right there are patterns in the properties of the elements. The first period is called period 1 followed by 2, 3, four, five, and six. We're going to look in more detail at groups one, seven, and zero. Group one being the alkali metals, group seven, the halogens, and group zero, the noble gases. Starting off by looking at group one, the alkali metals. The group one metals are highly reactive. They share properties of other metals, for example, they're shiny and good conductors of electricity. As you go down the elements in group 1, reactivity increases, melting point decreases, and boiling point decreases. Alkali metals react vigorously with water. The general equation shows a metal plus water makes a metal hydroxide plus hydrogen. For example, if you take lithium plus water, you would make lithium hydroxide plus hydrogen. And if you had sodium plus water, you would make sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen. Group 7 are called the halogens. The halogens are colourful elements and the colours darken as you go down the group. At room temperature, fluorine and chlorine are gases. Bromine is a liquid and iodine and astatine are solids. As you go down the elements in group 7, reactivity decreases, melting point increases and boiling point increases. So you'll notice this is the opposite of group 1. The halogens in group 7 are involved in displacement reactions. A more reactive halogen can displace a less reactive halogen from its compound. For example, if you react fluorine with potassium chloride, it will make potassium fluoride plus chlorine. And here you can see on the right hand side here that fluorine is higher than chlorine in the group 7. Therefore, fluorine is more reactive than chlorine. So this is why fluorine will displace, so kick out, the chloride from this compound and it swaps around so you end up with potassium fluoride and the chlorine being kicked out on its own. And in the second displacement reaction you can see chlorine is more reactive than bromine and you can see that over here because it is higher than bromine in the halogen group 7. So chlorine, when that reacts with potassium bromide, would make potassium chloride and bromine. So the bromine is displaced and kicked out by the chlorine. The final group that we'll look at is group zero, the noble gases. The noble gases are unreactive. This makes them really useful. For example, an argon atmosphere is used to transport reactive substances. So if you had an element that was very reactive, you would not want it to be transported 
with an atmosphere of air because air contains oxygen and there is the potential that that oxygen could react with the substance. So if you don't want your substance to react, it's really useful being able to package it with a noble gas because you know that that won't react with your substance. Noble gases are colourless gases at room temperature. As you go down the elements in group zero, the melting point increases and the boiling point increases. Neon is used in advertising because neon glows brightly when electricity passes through it. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.